All right, howdy. Max Schlechter with Everglades back again to give you the exciting rundown on the basic operating procedures of a CH570. This is our cane harvester. Just an absolutely gorgeous machine. I mean, man, this thing is cool looking. With that, let's get at it. Basic operating, I'll show you all how to drive one. And First, before we get into the fun stuff up in the cab and get driving it, uh, let's give a quick little walk around of what is on this machine. You got your tracks, crop dividers. This thing here is called the topper. Hidden up under here, you got your knockdown rollers and under there you got your base cutters. And finally, we got the elevator. All right, so now you know everything there is to know about cane harvesters. Let's, uh, let's get up on in the cab and get to operating this thing. All right, here we are, top of the machine. Now you may not think this is pretty cool, but uh, this is our Bell Glade dealership and I think this is pretty cool. How about that? Here's inside the cab. You got your screens there. There's gonna be a new screen and module up here. And uh, multi-function lever. All your controls right here. Smart system. Nice luxurious radio. Right here is your parking brake. These are your speeds. Here's your multi-function. Now, this thing is bent down right now so that the chopper is on the ground. On your multi-function right here, go ahead and click right here. It lifts the whole machine up. Tilts the whole machine back. This right here is for moving your elevator around. Wiggle, wiggle. As far as drives go, forward, reverse. This right here is in neutral. So say I was to go like this, I'll move the machine forwards. Oh, let's not hit my truck though. Very simple up in the cab. All right, you've seen the inside of the cab. I've somewhat shown you the controls. Man, this thing is cool to play with. Let me go ahead and move my elevator back around. Right, let's take this thing for a spin. I'm gonna leave it low gear, I don't want to, uh, no sense burning fuel when it ain't got to, right? Actually, I take that back, we're going up to high speed. These things are kind of odd to drive. With most track machines, you've got two joysticks and each one controls a track. So you could spin like this or go forward like this, but with this thing, all you've got is a forward and reverse and a steering wheel. It is, it is kind of odd to operate at first, I will admit. But it's cool, it feels like driving a spaceship. I'm gonna get in so much trouble, I tore a big old rut in the grass right there. Man, I bet everything is shaking so bad right now. Here's forward, here's reverse. does have a rather obnoxious backup alarm. I'll give it that. Got to turn nice and slow or else I tear everything up. Now, while we're while we're sitting here, I hope the GoPro can see this. So, obviously you've got your frame tilt here. Go down on the bottom one right here. Up on the top one right here. But you've also got control of your front cutter here, moving your topper. Raise it to whatever desired height you've got, depending on how tall your cane is. I typically leave them kind of low when I'm just driving around. Pretty simple little operation. Let's go ahead and bring this thing back over to the truck. High speed. Yeah, right now, running gear we're doing about 3.84 mile an hour 
so uh, it's not all that fast, although when you're driving it, it certainly feels like you're moving. Alright, back at home base, I'm going to set the frame down here, right on the floor. There we go. And that is how to operate a cane harvester. Alright, that's it for Cane Harvester 101. Uh, you should probably also add, you should never leave your battery switches on, your main battery power switch, on over the weekend. It could be dead come Monday and they're not a whole lot of fun to jump. You gotta get up on the side there and plug jumper cables in. Not doing that again. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna have a ton more fun stuff for you. Yeah, stick around, stay tuned.